yes, hello you wonderful people and welcome to Chimney Spotting. Today we'll be spotting chimneys here on Palette's outskirts and already we have found one chimney right here as you can see. There's a little ladder there where you can crawl up, okay. And now let's inspect the chimney further. Yes, it is in fact pitch black down there, but I suspect that you are not here to watch chimneys, so uh, yeah. How about we cast the game of Company of Heroes 2 instead? Sounds way more exciting, doesn't it? Let's get into it. In the blue, it is the small hut that I've just made bigger. There we are. Um, yeah, blue. It's Orange Pest. Playing as Opa Commander Vest. And he is up against... Oh, he down. He has gone for God Rifled. Okie dokie. <laughs> Getting him access to KV-1 tanks and guards, among other things. But hey, Orange Pest, mm -mm. he's bringing along Feuerstürm, Scavenge and Special Operations. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, bulletins wise, the Kuppelwagen here is tip-top tuned. It's speedy, very fast, both in terms of max speed and acceleration. And the Jäger lights. A little more accuracy and can see a little bit further. Elpern, his conscripts a little more accurate. His guns being produced faster, and the his guns they are also better at penetrating. Folks, mm -hmm. ready, ready for action. All right, let's see what kind of action they are gonna come into. Sitting in green here, well. Green cover, not in the green. If they were sitting in the green, they'd be having a lot of money. Because slang might even be old slang. <laughs> we are in the green. Anyway. Well, the Kuppelwagen here seems to be doing decent damage versus these guys, despite them being in, in green cover. Pioneers alike. Let's hope the Kuppelwagen softened up those boys before we have to charge up there. Let's see, Orange Pest, he's looking to get the jump on them. Okay, more men approaching this guy here. Oh, think, yeah, Elpern did in fact spot him as they tried to get in close. Now gonna sit here in light cover. Yeah, good damage from these guys and immediately gets around the side blocker here. So Elpern's conscripts here Already badly hurt. Now this charge here, he's trying to cash in or cash out or, you know. Okay, now going for these men here. Okay. Again. Oh, yeah. That that's, that has to be a retreat pretty soon. But then again, he... Yeah, there we go. Three men versus ten. But after being softened up. These stone piles here are having a wonderful time. Haha. <laughs> oh. I think Elpern. Yeah, he's got the field infirmary. Very lucky for Elpern that he didn't lose more models on that squad, considering how low health they were. Hmm. So, lots of manpower saved there once, you know, they just get healed up. On the other side. A little bit of dancing has happened here. Folks Grenadiers interrupting the build of that sandbag. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you didn't realize, this is gonna be a long match, so uh, get comfy and I hope you brought snacks. Hmm? Attacking through ground, enough to make Orange Pist bust a move. Hiding at the silo. Oh! Scorch that guy. Yeah. Okay, fighting fire with fire. Whoa, the, the impact of the grenade there, the initial damage just got two models. Wow. Anyway, Kubelwagen being ever annoying. Almost up to the two. Three kills. Doing good. And yeah, Orange Pest here. Getting ready with the incinerary grenade. Good play by him. And. Thus, Elpern once again beaten on this side of the map. 
Well, El Perrin also continues to struggle on this side, and hey, El Perrin even left a bit of green cover for Orange to use. So nice of him. Right. What's it gonna be? It's actually going to be a mechanized regiment. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What an interesting spot. More or less blocking the the dish cam machine gun here. <laughs> oh well, not that I believe it's gonna matter in this case. Say, isn't the Puma like 75 fuel? Rather expensive, but it's a good tank versus um, vehicles, light tanks, and a decent support versus medium armor. Also great at hunting down snipers. Ah, only 70. All right. Five off. And this thing, 60. Mm hmm. Elpern's luck. <laughs> As we saw here, this time around, Orange Pest took down a squad. Well, Elpern goes for the M5. Oh, oh! An M5 versus a Panzer II. Yeah, the Panzer II is gonna win that engagement. I wonder. What Elpern will do once he realizes that the um, Panzer II is on the field. By the time that hits the field, then his M5 will be ready. So I don't think he has time to switch here if he wants to wait for a T70. But then again, waiting for a T70. Well, yeah, there's only 30 fuel here. I can completely understand why he felt the need to go for the M5 here, but since his early game hasn't given him an awful lot of fuel, <sighs> struggling on both sides. Guards coming in, replacing the, the lost. The lost conscript squad also gonna be handy dandy versus uh, the Panzer II. M5 shows up. <sighs> And combat and he's killed. Woo he. Yeah, that's a chew chewing into the health of uh, of the M5 there. Uh oh, spotted guard. Read verse. Hmm. <laughs> Lock and load. No. M5 coming in, trying to soak up some damage here, but Panzer 2. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> narrowly escaped that one. Well, it's almost up to bit one. That's something. Combat engineer on the way to replace what was lost and I wonder if Orange Pest has gone for the repair kits on oh, one fault squad just happened to be not these boys otherwise they could have repaired that but these men nope no repairs nearby this thing oh yeah, 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 yeah. okay okay in the game of chicken Orange Pest was the first to retreat but then again I would have expected him to retreat much earlier <laughs> and hey he got he got some models for his troubles reinforce reinforce oh early uh, early medics yeah that's 15 fuel and 
well then I can't actually remember what this thing here cost to plant then additional 10 fuel is that really 15 so at least 25 fuel and then I do also believe that the battle group headquarters cost fuel itself can't remember the cost though maybe it's 10 fuel as well That's actually quite a bit of fuel you have to pay f to get medics for uh, if you're over Commander Vest. Panzer 2 being deadly while stationary. Claims she had another kill. And okay, guards. Closing in. Yeah, another volley. Snares, another. Okay, now they are available. I just got 25 Muni. Speaking of Muni, Elkhorn is trying to get double munitions. They didn't quite succeed. They didn't quite succeed. And Kuppelwagen almost went free. Yay. Alrighty then, Elpan. Getting ready with that Maxim. And these guys have hit the dirt. And when that is uh, active, a, any vehicle with medium crush or more can actually just run over them now. <laughs> and they die. Since they don't dodge the vehicles while on the ground. There it is, Maxim. Uh, orange Pest, yeah. Opting not to go for the Puma in this case. Probably an alright choice. Yeah, an alright choice, I'd say. The Panzer II is more than uh, capable of brushing the M5 away. Besides, the Puma won't really... Well... Calling in a Puma in addition to the Panzer II in order to deal with the M5A just be a little bit overkill. Here's the Molotov. Ah. May not have had the most effect. Oh well. Oh well. Orange test is bringing in the uh, the next truck. Okay. Any tech sign from Elpern? Well, he has the fuel to lay down his tech structure. Let's see that thing. Yeah, 10 fuel. Mm. Battle group did indeed cost 10 fuel. Ooh. Where is he going with it? Does he want it to defend this point here? I guess? Make it a little more risky to dive in on this area? He's gotta be careful though for AT guns. I mean this area here and there it's quite open so any cis guns may have a rather easy time getting a direct line of fire to that thing but then again at least it's not that far forward. Hmm. All right, snare. Yep, he drove too close. Happens to the best of us. Not implying that I'm the best, but it happens to me too. <laughs> Getting in too close with your light vehicles. Could repair it once these guys are gone. I mean, repair, repair. Oh, but. Since another squad to do, do so. What is thy bidding? Oh, and just that the mere touch on the Panzer II, the engine was miraculously fixed. There's some guy in that squad who has a talent for machinery. Hey, Kubelwagen, just earned vet free. Nice. 
Meaning that nobody has to repair it. They can handle that themselves. And the little Panzer II here is doing quite okay. Spots the combat engineers and may be afraid of mine since he's not pursuing the M5. But then again, and the M5 is now coming in back to him. <laughs> Though now he can't give chase as he once again got within snare range. The nail pun was there on the spot to punish him with yet another indie damage. But not to fear, the mechanics are here. Though they are a bit occupied in, you know, a firefight here. So someone else has to deal with it. Gotta be the Pios, I'd imagine. Oh, hit the machine. Yeah, even getting the Panzer II to do some damage here as well. Trying to Ura. Bad idea. Hey, 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 hey. You exited the circle. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Kubelwagen nopes out of there. Orange Pest isn't too far off a medium tank. It's got plenty of manpower. And the first Panther IV, just nine more fuel. Ilpern, on the other hand, well, he hasn't teched up yet. And even he has to shell out 100 fuel. And then he need another 30, roughly. Before he can get out a T-34 even more if he wants to go with the KV-1. It all depends on uh, on the situation once the first Panzer IV is on the field. Speaking of which, it is now in production. If Elpern is suffering badly under the Panzer IV, then it may be worth going for a T-34. But Elpern has got a sis to assist him so he may just be able to hold on for a kv1 without too much difficulty boom run along now Tch, look at them i think they're superheroes with their capes huh ain't nothing against the people the german people Nein, we are Volksgrenadier, nichts Volkswagen. Nein, 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 nein. Oops. Couldn't repair himself fast enough out of that one. Oh, he even went into overdrive in order to chase down the Kubel. And he got it. No more pesky Kubel, but upgrades. Started with the Kubel. Then we got a Panzer II. Now a Panzer IV. Next up, Panzer VIII. <laughs> well, the Siskon would be great versus uh, a Panzer IV if it, you know, faced the right direction. And now we can just circle around it if it would stay put. Here are the guards. Anything here? Yes. Whoa. Well executed push here by Orange. Throwing a stun grenade. Oh, engine damage. No. What happened to the Sis? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay. It's just been reinforced. And it, this is a not so splendid play. Okay. At least he gets the guards. But he's going to lose the Panzer IV. Yeah. Sick merge, brah. Merging into the crew, just saving uh, the weapon, making it continue to operate. But just like that, I think Orange Fest has lost the lead that he had in terms of resources. Yeah, Elpen, he's gonna build his uh, mechanized armor company up as soon as these guys are done repairing, and then he's gonna push out a, a KV-1. Yeah, that's the leak. All right, chop. Hope you're ready for this because I'm speaking to the leak here. I hope the league is ready to carry, to be strong because Orange Pest, he needs all the energy he can get right now after taking such a brutal loss. <clears throat> Man. 
But then again, orange pest. He's got a go strong throwing arm. But so does Elpern. Speaking of throwing, let's have a look at the victory points here. Elpern, 247 points. Orange Pest looking mighty strong at 431. Let's see here. Uh, caution movement, don't care about that. Shots more fire per reload cycle. Faster aim, more accuracy, more moving accuracy. Mm hmm. Maximum speed, rotation speed, side range, blah, 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 blah. Oh, bet four. Now there's where the money's at. That's a lot of damage. And we're not talking about emotional damage here. No, no, no. We are talking about physical damage. Ah, oh well. Orange Pest. Waiting for the um, Panzer IV to be affordable. He goes for the Raketen. Good choice. And Elpern's KV-1 is indeed on the way. There we go. Bet four. <laughs> Let the bullets fly. And wipe. 25% doing work. But this thing here has a quad mount. <laughs> Which is so much damage on this infantry here. Hold fire cautious movement not sure what he wanted to achieve there <laughs> but it looked sick i suppose oh raketen 25 percent again did 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 it no repairs available for elpern um hello kv1 straight ahead oppo commander vest base feel free to enter there is no strong AT here. No, don't lose this one now. Just gotten up to vet four. Yeah, this thing here. Suppressive fire ability. Yeah, nah. It's no volley fire, I believe. I think it works similar to the Obersoldaten's volley fire, where they only can target one specific unit, and if you order them to target another unit, the suppressive fire ability will be cancelled. No refunds. Hmm, something big's coming. You better shoot it. Good job. That's one shot. Now we need plenty more. Yeah, Leek. You tried to take on the uh, KV-1. You better run. It is an ISG, an infantry support gun. It supports infantry. In death. Well, that was rather quickly that he had replaced those men. Combat engineers on the field, good to go once more. All right, Orange Pest, obviously he's going for a Panther. Gonna have that extra firepower versus the KV-1, which is uh, good. That's the Panther IV, you know, versus the Frontal Armor here. Not the best thing for the Panther IV to try to penetrate. All right, let's see that 25% extra damage here. Hmm. Decent. They were retreating after all. Oh, somebody used the manual reload. Sick micro, dude. Now, Elpern, he goes with a little T-34. Mm-hmm. 
I wonder why he won't go for an issue 85. Because, you know, wouldn't Elpern or shouldn't Elpern be expecting uh, something a bit more heavier? Heavier than a Panzer IV. Strafing run. Hello. Ah, there we are. Almost got the entire crew. I guess. Yeah, a couple of dead bodies there. Hey, surprise! It's still standing. Not quite better than it ever did, but looking like a true survivor. Cancelled the grenade, apparently. The incendiary grenade. Alright, T-34 coming in, and I'm... No, he didn't hear it. Well, that's a retreat. That's a retreat. Goodbye. And goodbye, sis. <laughs> Again. The Panzer II, the Luke's here, has just been slaughtering uh, the engineers. And yeah, goodbye, M5. Shouldn't have come here. Never should have come here. The Dragonborn is here. Or the Dragon Panther. The Pantherborn. And I have a kitty at my legs. Such a good boy. Standing by. Standing by. Huh. Not going for the pintle mounted machine gun here. Could it be that he wants this thing here to be available to him? Oh well. Um, or maybe he just wants green aids. One, two, three, four, boom. One man. It's all what it takes to keep the squad alive. No pressure, boy. Maybe one. Oh, finds two rockets. Panzer two should be able to scoot back to base without too much harm, if any, if any harm. Speaking of harm, <laughs> rip! That was a full squad. Full squad. Come on. What? Why you do this? Why you gotta be so mean? <laughs> Okay. Almost turned that one with that one shot. Yeah, no green cover here for you guards. All right, time for the Panzer IV coming down here to assist. This thing is ready, but <laughs> rarely used. Oh, that looks like one or two grenades. No, don't die. Well, the, oh, yeah, don't die. I yeah, think, think these guys might die. Oh, well, there's an opportunity here to replace them with some Jaegers. Not too bad, eh? Okay, okay. Ah! <clears throat> and there we are backing off we are burning well what okay
That must... Yeah, that was quite spectacular way to die back in base. Could have been out of control, I guess. Mm, mechanics, good choice. Also making use of his uh, rudimentary repair here. Okay, enough of that. The pros are here. Shoo. And Elpern. Okay, he's confident that his um, army composition here can deal with the Panther with a T-34 rather than the SU. Missed. Yep, that container there, quite sturdy. Should make tanks out of those. Strafing run. Where is that one coming? Oh. Phew. Gone. Hmm. Good strafe. This panther continues to hide behind the uh, shot blocker. So does the panzer two behind the silo here, but this gun may have an angle or not. Oh, hey, <laughs> dead. Another opportunity. <laughs> Just swimming in opportunity here. Yeah, spotted those guys up there. Mm-hmm. Let's check in on the league. Six kills. Almost up to bed free. Yeah, T-34 not having uh, the best day versus the Panther. But is there any a good day versus the Panther as a little T-34? I doubt it. May have an easier time versus the Panther 4, which is on its way. Shoot. All right. Mr. 25%. Claims another kill. How many kills? 35. That's good. And now the KV-1 here is... Phew. Dodging bullets. Another T-34 on the way for Ilpern. Looking to swarm his opponent in tanks. And there we go. First Savage. Savage. Salvage coming in. Knitting him. Not only... What's that? Five fuel, but also 15 munis. Goes uh, towards the uh, disability, I guess. Or pindle mounted machine guns in this case. Nice. Oh, sis, you missed. <laughs> and the league scores a kill on the retreat. Mm hmm. Well, little pern. <laughs> On a scale on 1 to 10, where 10 is doing absolutely great, I'd say Elpern is doing a 5. Orange Pist doing an 8? Yeah. Though Orange Pist, he has dropped a lot of victory points since the last time we looked. Last time we looked, he has plus 400, now he's below 200. But with the triple cap coming in for Orange Pest, should be able to equalize those points rather quickly. Caution's movement. Ah, open up, Mr. 25% opening up on you. Got you. Guards. It, oh! 
You dare attack me? Well, I got raketons. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going in a bit. He's going a bit in. Uh, lost the PTRS rifle. Not the biggest loss considering we are having medium tanks on the field now. Target secure. Okay then. Pass. Well, is this really gonna devolve into an artillery game? I sure hope not, because all artillery that's on the field is a league and a cis gun. And they are definitely not among the most powerful indirect fire available. Would be a rather boring match <laughs> if we are watching a league doing all the work. Guard squad got that PGRS rifle. Whoa, bounce, bounce, Panther four. Heck, that's strong. Meanwhile, yeah, this could be the end for the Panther two. I think. Elpern would be satisfied to dive this. No, not when this thing is already around. I, there's no way he can get it. And whoops. Magic. Oh, wait. This thing here digs in. It has hauled down. All right. If sit, if fit, I sit. Defense and fire rate. Mm. No range, apparently. Yeah, I can't range that. Yeah, and now there's this guy. He was way behind, trailing behind his partner. Yeah, it's bound to happen. I think Orange Pest, he wants more tanks! <laughs> But his infantry core is hurting. 20 pop cap. He could get another panther, but. I don't know. I'm not so sure that what he need or. Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe it would be fine with another panther. Just to make the two T third force and the KV one sweat a bit more. They're not exactly packing the most firepower, but the SU eighty five is now on the field, and yeah, let's see if that has any luck cracking this bad boy open. Gets a little bit more armor at that too, which is just achieved right now. Side skirts unlocked. Cautious movement. Let's see what you can see. Not an awful lot. Then again, there isn't much to see here in this wasteland. Um, hmm. What else? Oh, Raket, yeah. That's no good. Could have used some smoke cover. But it's getting a different kind of smoke cover kind of very hurdy smoke cover recognize battle group oh ho 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 and he's not going for any of the half tracks here he just unlocked the king tiger it's gonna be the big one he's gonna have to sacrifice something if he wants to make room for the uh, KT but once it gets to the field, it's gonna have a lot of support here, but 
Well, a stern pioneer plus the mechanics back in base to help repair three four tanks. It's gonna be alright, I'd say. Gonna be alright. How about a walking Stuka? Uh, well, not really so sold on that. I mean, sure, Elpern is digging in here and there. And then he only has like a Maxim and a Siskan here. Not so sure that the walking Stuka would be worth it. Might just be a bit overkill. For a walking Stuka in this situation here. Remember, conscripts in green cover can can't really hurt your armor. Buttoned. Oh, orange pissed. He's trying to blitz away. The Panzer two can't do anything. Oh, miss, miss, a, miss, and a bounce. Phew, he orange getting lucky, and another bounce. Whoopsie doo! And that thing didn't kill the crew. You're in luck, orange pissed. And he's also swimming in manpower. Elpern has a decent stock of manpower as well, but orange pissed, he's got the fuel. <clears throat> and Elpern, he's now. Effectively pop capped. What can he get? Combat engineers? No, not even that. Can he get something? Anything? I don't think so. Nope. Can't get a can't get a thing. Ooh he he Elpern survives. Or at least the squad does. This heavy machine gun here. Yeah, it's a big structure, but it is taking some punishment now. And would you hear that? Punishment is crawling on its way. So what do we have? Well, the SU-85 should be able to keep the KT at bay. Two kills, and one shot. Nice. And now, a little bit of diving action over here. Ram a lam a ding dong. That thing has been taken out temporarily. Gonna be permanently. Okay, loses that. So, uh, Panzer four for two T-34s. Great deal. Gonna get this thing here. Oh, he may just be throwing his Panzer II away. It gets away. Now the KT trying to work. SU-85 is blowing. And we got, what's that? That's a Sturm. Survives with engine damage. Oh, time to bail. Hey, KT, it actually takes down the KV-1. Now it's just the SU-85 and... Kitty was getting a little worried for me there. He was like, are you okay? I am okay. All right, new Volk squad on the way. Could also go, had gone for uh, the Jaegers. Having a Jaeger squad on the field instead of the Volksgrenadiers. All right. Is it because he really wants the repair kits? Yep, it is. It is because he wants the repairs available to support the big tanks. And are we gonna have a special guest up here? Uh. <laughs> Little kitty. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Cautious movement cancelled. Oh, man. 
Oh, if he hadn't attempted with the caution movement, then he may have been able to circle around the container and maybe just then survive. All right, KT. Not fully repaired, but it'll have to do. Goodbye, Silo. Got a new KV-1 here. Yeah, this building here won't stand for much longer if it continues to take some good hits. Oh, getting a little low. Tries the attack ground, but didn't connect to the KV-1. Panther taking hits from this and that's an incendiary grenade forcing the assist to move back in base we gotta get those repairs kt got a little bit extra repair done let's loose How did he? you are sitting on my headset wire kitty <laughs> kitty 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 ah, kitty There we are. <laughs> Kitty's under the desk. <laughs> and this kitty here is in need of repairs urgently. 128 versus 159. Yeah, losing a Panzer II here. It's not really helping uh, Orange Pest. It uh, played quite the role against keeping uh, keeping the conscripts uh, in check. Now they're gonna get up there and get that repair done. Uh, not repair, but gonna get the victory point. All right, let's see here. All hands on deck. Get this thing fixed. Don't step on each other's toes. Yeah, two of the mechanics there trying to find their way in, but not succeeding. KT. We got spearhead uh, activated and that's the crew survives oh you're within range goodbye two men guard squad down to one man and what's happening there what's uh it's still sitting there one man remains yeah he's gonna be fine he's gonna be fine what a good push here from Orange. He's working on two victory points simultaneously. The engine damage on the Panther, it is limping back to base where it can be repaired. Oh, spotted that, but... No Shrek's available. Shoot! <laughs> bounced! The tiger bounced! <laughs> wow. That's a DP. Oh, the... These should be able to pick that up. Or even the stern piles. Wouldn't be a bad idea to give them the DP. At least just to deny your opponent it. Oh, well. And your uh, ammo going high. Trying to melt them. Yeah, they picked up their PTRS rifle. Gonna pick up the DP as well. No? Hey, kitty. Wow, guards once again surviving. 
They have had quite a few near-death experiences, haven't they? SU-85 getting repaired. The little T-34 has indeed seen a little bit of combat. Back to the middle. Well, Uras away rather than retreating. Gotta stick around to fight. Fight the KT and still uh, not picking that up. Sadly. What help their uh, damage per second? I'd say. Tiger again misses. He wants it, but he can't get it. Volk. Gotta get away. Oh, oh, oh. Raketen spots that. Yep. It's another repair for the SU. And they get pinned. They get pinned. The league still at Vet 2. My goodness, it's been there forever. We are at 51 minute. Come on. All right, Panther, you're good to go. Panther 4 on its way. Yoink. Gonna pick up the DP. There we are. This thing still sits there. The League has yet to deal with it. Smoke now should only require one shell to uh, disable this thing. And just as Elpern has activated the sustained fire ability, not gonna be of much use now. Panther scores an easy hit, but the SU 85 is there watching over the KV 1. Yeah, it's a stalemate at the moment. <laughs> Barely gets out of there again. And Elpern has found some time to lay down of a mine. And a double issue 85 is about to hit the field here. Mm hmm. And when that gets to the field, I'd say Orange Fest is done for. I don't think he'll be able to beat this. Simply put, no. And he can't get any more units. He is popcat, which is yeah, just over commando vest things. But then again, Elpen, he'll also be popcat. Yep, hundred versus hundred. I got a question for you: Which one of you believe has the most powerful army here, or has the best army composition? Leave a, leave your answer down in the comments. Okay. I would actually say it is Elpern who has the better army composition here. This double SU 85s can easily handle those tanks. Easily, but then again, uh, well, yeah, with the superior range, it's gonna be difficult for Orange Pest to make a push. And let's not forget that the Siskon is quite good with its uh, light artillery barrage to push away the heavy machine gun. And that means Orange Pist loses his heavy machine gun cover on the point and thus Ilpern scoots in. Up there, we gotta get that repaired. He is not going for the pedal barrel machine upgrade just yet. How badly does he want this thing to be available? But let's not forget that it also fires additional shields the more munitions you have. Let's get this cap quickly. 88 points remaining for Orange Pest. Here's a push. Uh, one SU-85 there, the other one 
Yeah, both of them watching over the middle. The other one also helps out here. Should this happen? Because now this thing here is just gonna rotate a little bit. And thus, yeah, Panther can't really do much here. Not the two versus one plus a snare, yeah. And now that's out of action. Kid and sitting pretty. KT dares to move in, SU-85. It's gonna hit it, but there's a there's that thing sitting there. Uh, there. <laughs> Double SU-85, so we too much work for one. Rakitin and oh even a miss and oh the guards again cheating death barely though barely oh is he gonna clear the vet on this crew here no Siskon crew still vet free ah well good on the Panzer IV seemingly getting a kill no that was something else must have been the Rakitin and here we are launching Tactical barrage in one, two, a uh, one, two, three. Here we go. What? Okay, SU 85 down. Well, so much for uh, me thinking Elpern had the superior army composition here. Yikes. Orange pissed with uh, some good picks there. Getting a T 34 and an SU 85. Still. The vetted ones, highly vetted ones, are still looming. Now this thing is not being guarded anymore, but Orange Pest doesn't really have the best infantry core right now to be everywhere on the field. Yeah, he, he's forced to send out men without being fully reinforced. I mean, he could get one extra man, but then he'd be once again at 100 pop cap. Move up, KT. Yeah, getting out of that HMG nest. KT, 41 kills. Slowly dragging itself towards vet free. Triple cap, maybe? Yeah. We're gonna see a triple cap briefly here for uh, Orange. Oh, is he gonna play chicken again? Oh, Orange Pest runs. Elpern can now continue decapping the middle over here. Oh, yes. Elpern, he's just everywhere. Dropping. That was a PTRS again. The wandering PTRS and goodbye. Yet, oh my good god. Orange Being unstoppable right now Is this thing gonna die as well? I mean, I feel like the guard squad have used all the lives for um, For themselves and also the combat engineers lives seeing as combat engineers They have been dying left and right here and now Elper and he has been cut in half only 52 pop cap Whereas he was at a hundred not long ago and he is out of manpower. No reserve to call upon. Boop. Burn. Again. That was three kills immediately. If we count the burning man as well. That, uh, yeah, that mine's still there. Okay, going in there. Uh, Stone Pios. Yeah, they're storming in. Look at how low health they have. KT, gonna get a good one shot. Nope, nothing. Meanwhile, the Panther Forest is apparently forgotten <laughs> and way out of repair range. <laughs> I think that, uh, 
It's a bit what I'd say orange pissed being a uh, micro text. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Having units in the field is uh, in the capping circle is no good if they're capped. Won't do anything. Weapon team there falls back. Su eighty five still busted. Sixty two points versus seventy four. Orange pest has taken the lead for now. Uras into the heavy machine gun tries to escape the fire range but no good however the sis gun is there you want to use the light artillery barrage in order to get these to move and if they don't move then they sh they gonna die and we have just passed the one hour mark yes we have kitty yes we have yes we have <laughs> careful not to fall down He's lying on my computer case. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a warm spot. It's a warm spot. All right, back at it. BP's currently stalled, not for long. Orange now having the majority of the victory points held on the field. New T-34 coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's went with sustained fire here. Pinning that squad. Yeah. Giving up on that one for now. Yeah, again, another light barrage. These few volks, yeah, just can't defend. But hey, that's what the KT is for. And that thing is about to hit that free. One more hit of any kind should do. Yep, there we are. Vet free. Fast. Extra fast reload. Oh, and guard infantry squished there. Conscript squad killed. I'd say Orange Pest may just have secured himself the victory here. Or has he? Or has he? Got the SU. Sys T34 trying to stop. Yeah, they managed to stop that from happening. Oh, ramp, ramp. Desperate measure. Crew shocked. Main gun busted. SU-85, can it do something? Might not be enough to destroy this. And here comes the Vet 4 Panther. All hands on deck. SU-85 down. And... Kitty. And that, I dare say, is GG Elpern is down out for the count here elper 19 pop cap orange pissed 96 and thus he takes the victory in a very very close match here i'd say oh man and don't forget to leave a like for um for the close match mm? and also consider subscribing if you want more Otherwise, yeah, that's all for this time, folks. See you wonderful people later. So long. But of course, stats. Gotta have them stats. Whoa, plus 300 kills for Orange Pest and almost 100,000 damage for both of them. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. All right. Let's see. What else is there? Graphs. Let's see them graphs. Orange Pest topping. Elpern dropping. But gets back again. But gets knocked down. I get knocked down. But I get up again. So you fought. But it's down, down, down from there. Resource float. Orange Pest. Yeah, sitting with plus thousand manpower and a heck of a lot of fuel. No wonder he's all the way up there. 
Hmm. All right. Points held. Strong start from Orange. Then Elburn comes back in to shake things up. And it continues to be rather shaky around the 50 minute mark that when we can see both players are uh, both players armies have been rather uh, worn as neither of them really have any uh, extra they could give in order to push out and take more of the field anyway that was all for this time you wonderful people i'll see you later so long